Oh, here now is South Dakota Republican Senator John Thune, Senate GOP conference chair, uh, straight out of a meeting with the people in charge of this thing. Senator Thune, thank you for joining us. So will it be delayed or not, this corporate tax cut? Well, it is in the Senate version of the bill that's being rolled out today. It's not in the House version of the bill, but as I point out all the time, this is the beginning of the process. We're going to have a full markup next week in the Senate Finance Committee and an open amendment process. And, of course, when we get to the floor, it will be a wide open amendment right. process. Well, but Senator, I'm sure you know your history, your tax history, as well as I do, probably better than I do. But back in 1981, when we delayed the entry of the Reagan tax cuts, we went through a, a recession, a very big recession. And part of that was because we didn't have the stimulation from the tax cuts kick in until 1983. That's what concerns a lot of us about delaying a corporate tax cut. When tax cuts are delayed, businesses delay startups. Well, a couple observations about that, David. One is the pass-through uh, tax cuts would happen January 1 of 18 and the immediate expensing. And I think you're going to see an explosion of CapEx uh, spending next year because you're going to have immediate expensing and you'll still have for that first year a 35 percent rate which is going to make that deduction enormously valuable but so i know a lot I, I of businesses lot that have of plans that be... senator forgive me for interrupting i know a lot of businesses that that tell me that they are going to delay their plan if there is a delay they had plans to start new divisions in 2017 they will delay those divisions until after the tax cuts kick in it makes common sense well, look, as I said before, we'll see as the process moves forward if we can, if we can move the date up. This was a function of math, obviously. We had, to make, we had to fit all this stuff within a certain box. But what I'm telling you is we also hear from a lot of businesses who believe that the immediate expensing is what's going to drive a lot of the spending next year. And I think you're going to see a lot of businesses making that investment. They know the tax, the rate right. reduction is coming in well, the following it, it, year. It hasn't happened in the past, Senator. With and history, if history is any precedent, it doesn't look good. I hope you change your mind in that one. Meanwhile, the brackets. A lot of us were very pleased to see the number of brackets go from currently seven down to three. Then they ticked up to four in the House plan. Is it true that you're going to go back to seven brackets? We do have seven brackets. That is correct. Why? Yes. Why don't you make it more simple? Well, it is. It is simple. The simplification comes in the doubling of the standard deduction. You're going to have. But if you're you double the number, the number of, of brackets, that's not you're, simpler. That's more you're, complex, Senator. You're going you're, you're to count. Cut the, you're going to cut the number of itemizers from a third down to 10 percent, and 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 a lot of the rates. Who 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 nowadays, David? All you do is you look it up. You go and say, okay, this is what my tax liability is. The rates were a way of bringing some uh, 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 progressivity to the code. We were trying to maintain distribution. Uh, of the uh, benefits of the tax co or the tax cuts in a way that would preserve the tax burden that exists today. And so one way you can do that is through the rate structure. The other way that we did it is through expanding the okay. per-child tax credit. But those well, are two ways. Well, seven is still more than ways. four. It's very, very simple, Senator. We can count. The final thing is the millionaire's tax uh, on the, on the mm -hmm. highest rate. Uh, we'd heard it was a millionaire's tax. Now somebody told me that the top rate would kick in at 500,000, half a millionaire. Is that true? It, it kicks in for singles at half a million and uh, joint filers at a million. That's correct. So, so half of the millionaire's tax becomes a half a million if you're single, but if you're if you're uh, married, it's a million. Uh, don't it gets you see? It gets rid. It gets rid of the marriage penalty. Okay. Uh, bear but, in mind, but, and it does raise that amount significantly either way. Very quickly, you understand why a lot of us are disappointed. We saw a very clear, clean, simple tax plan rolled out in April uh, by, by Mr. Cohn and Mr. Mnuchin, and now we see something that's far more complex, and frankly, it looks like uh, more of the same. Well, look at it this way, David. This is a $1.5 trillion net tax cut. And yes, there are base broadeners in there. It's a six trillion or five and a half trillion dollar tax cut. Four trillion, of course, okay. is paid for with base broadeners. Uh, One point five trillion. Everybody benefits from this. Middle income families get the benefit of this. Pass through businesses, C corporations. I mean, we're cutting the C corp rate from thirty five down okay. to twenty and giving them immediate expensing. All this right. is going to be really good for the economy. Uh, I hope you can get on board because uh, you're well, going to be missing the train if you don't. So far, so far, it doesn't look all that good. But we wish you the very best, Senator. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. We'll be right Thanks, back. Thanks, David.